Hey, how are you beautiful people? Yes, you. How are you doing all? Well, I'm doing great and today we are going to talk something really interesting and that is one of my favorite. Well, wouldn't it be great my friends that in this busy and hectic world, if wouldn't it be great that we have something to handle our task, an assistant, a robot? Ah, uh, not this robot. Well, uh, we are going to see how can we automate our task and that all we are going to do it with Power Automate and Faraz is going to show it to us. So let me quickly show it to you what is Power Automate. Well, let's assume that you have to send an email every month to your team and basically you need to draft that email every month, send it to them. Well, with the Power Automate, you can automate that task and every month automatically that mail will go to them. So that's a quick brief and uh, so let's go and see the things in action as you heard my friend zenzo saying what is power automate it allows you to do the automation stuff that is absolutely right you can take your emails approvals there are a lot of amazing stuff which we are going to see in the coming days so let me quickly brief you about power automate so if you like to access to power automate you, there are many ways you can go to flow.microsoft.com and you can just click on sign in so that will take you to the power automate place Coming to the office.com, if you go to office.com and if you click on see all apps, you'll find Power Automate. Some of you might find as Flow because earlier Power Automate was also called as Microsoft Flow. In fact, uh, so you will find it some places, you'll find it as written as Flow. So there's nothing to worry, it's the same thing. It is available for uh, all the holders, those who are having Microsoft account. So you can just grab that one. So Outlook or Hotmail, even you will have that feature. So coming to the Outlook over here, even you can access from your Outlook. If you go to Outlook, click on this box over here, which is on your left corner and click on see all apps. And in fact, you'll find the Power Automate over here. So let me go to the screen of the Power Automate. So this is an environment for the Power Automate where we are going to spend most of our time building our flows. So you can see over here that we have a nice flow which says that save the Office 365 email attachments to my OneDrive. So I don't need to build that flow. I can just use these templates and I can just give the access authorization and the flow will work. So let me show you the template gallery and we can see a lot of amazing templates over here. Let's say that we are looking something for Twitter. So you can find related to that tutor and let's see that uh, we can have our tweets getting saved to our excel online so you can just save any tweets uh, being tweeted on your twitter on the excel spreadsheet in fact even you can take an approval before tweeting it on the twitter so let's say in your organization you have uh, created a list and in that list will go to automatic approval from your manager or someone and then you can tweet it on your organization Twitter account. So there are many ways uh, it can automate the stuff. So let's look what is connectors. So the connectors are something that they are building the relationship between you and your application. So let's say that if you want to authorize Twitter, so you can authorize Twitter to tweet on behalf of Power Automate. So you don't need to worry about that. So it's building that bridge. It's building that connection between you and your application. So there are more than like 300 connectors over here right now, if I'm not wrong. So you can just use any of them and you can just design your flow as per your requirement. So let's look what is data over here. And when we come to connections, so these connections, what we saw right now, those applications connection, so whatever the applications you are authorizing them, so that will appear over here. So we'll shortly come back to the screen and see uh, about this connection. AI Builder, uh, we are going to see those in the next future videos where it used the artificial intelligence service. Let's say that you have a business cards and you want to scan them and record those information in Excel. You can do with this AI Builder. Coming back to my flows. So here, when you come, whatever the flows you will make, that will appear over here. Now, there are team flows. Let's say that I have this real-time data set, which I have shared it with my other team. So I can see that flow over here. 
uh, there is business process flows there are ui flows okay this is really amazing so ui flows is like it will just record the steps whatever you are doing on your uh, system and that will just follow it and you can then connect it to your regular flows to create a flow it's very easy so you can just click over here new and you can get that information you can come here create flow and you get these nice options over here so the strategy how the flow works it works based on the triggers triggers and then the action so the trigger let's say that when an emails arrive with an attachment so that's a trigger action is to save those files uh, of the attachment into OneDrive. So that's my action. And let's say for the Twitter, if I posted something or it has an hashtag, then I can carry that information from there and post it to an Excel workbook. So there were triggers and action. Trigger is someone posted with the hashtag Excel exciting and the action is saving those records into Excel. So remember, the flow always start with a trigger so we have like automated triggers which happens we have an instant trigger instant trigger is like you are having the control to run it and uh, sometimes you need those instant trigger schedule triggers are like uh, you have an email those attachment you wanted to run only after 4 p.m so the flow will run only after 4 p.m ui flows as i mentioned that you can uh, connect to your desktops and you can get that information and we have the business process flows so let me show you the instant flow when you open this uh, you get this option to select your connector and uh, you can give your flow name so let's say uh, post on twitter and this is a manual trigger and we're going to say create and you can even skip it okay so no problem if you skip that information and create so once you land over here this is the place where you will be uh, creating your flow so as you can see the first step of the flow is the trigger which is already added over here now the next step what is there we need to post a tweet so we are going to find the connector by saying twitter twi twitter and the twitter is over here and we there are a lot of other actions which are available over here so we can select those actions and we can you know get those followings followers get the user those information and let us keep it very simple post a tweet and now it is asking me to authorize this application so you can see that it it's like a lego block you are building your uh, actions one below another uh, just by clicking on the new step so let's say that we'll say sign in asking me to authorize that so i'm going to authorize this app and this thing i just need to do it only once so once i have authorized my twitter account then it will be like getting that authorization then now you can see over here that i can post the tweet so let's say this is the post using power automate and you can even tag someone you know who you have your details so you can tag them and this is a post using power automate or this is my first post using power automate so this looks great and you have to save the flow it's very important so if you just try to go back and that will make a problem so that will not save the flow it will ask you let's try it so it is saying that you lose it so hit cancel click on save so the flow is safe and uh, if you need to go and give a notification then you can add a notification if you want to put it in excel then you can put, even place it in excel so right now we just have this flow and uh, you can even rename it just clicking it over here and let's give a test and this is I'll perform the trigger, yes. In case if you already have some records, then you can use your previous test runs and you can then run it. So this is a way where you can test your flow. So clicking over here, click on I'll perform the trigger action and let's click test. Click on continue and run flow. Now this is in case of manual. So if you have some kind of an automated flow or something, then it would run automatically. So going to my Twitter account over here and let's see whether we have that post. 
Yes, this is my first post using Power Automate. Cool. So you can see even here that Microsoft Power Automate and uh, that is really cool. So let's try another one. Let's say that I need to change this tweet and you can see that whenever it runs, it shows that it's a manual trigger and it's a schema. This is a schema which is over here, which we are going to see in more in detail uh, how this things works. So this is my input text and this is my tweet ID. So I can grab that tweet ID also and I can even later on delete that. So let's say edit. So let's go and edit that tweet what we have and you can see over here that this is my Power Automate. Hey, I'm enjoying Power Automate. And that's Power Addict. Hashtag Power Addict. Awesome. And let's add Excel Exciting. And let me save this time, this flow. And instead of doing the test from here, let's go back over here. So this is a detail overview that when you have made this flow and uh, what is the time it was created, and what was the last modification, what is the status. So you can see the run which we have did. The test was succeed and it can show you all those runs over here. So it maintained the history of 28 days. And in fact, you can uh, share this one and uh, you can even uh, create a copy of this one. Send a copy, submitted this as a template. So at any moment, if you like to turn it off your flow, you can just go on here and turn it off. And this will turn off the flow and you can click back and that will turn on the flow. So your flow is on to post on the Twitter. So we can say this one run because it's a manual one. So I need to push it manually and I will hit the run button and voila and that flow ran and it succeed. So now it will show me as succeed. So if there are some errors, it will show me that the flow has failed. So let's go back to our Twitter and see that post. Hey, I'm enjoying Power Automate, Power Edx, and Excel Exciting. So that is cool. So this is the way. Oh, that's my friend Cristiano. So he has recently posted something. So nice to see him here in my demo video. So these are some cool stuff what we can do. And going back to the connectors now, which we were talking about in data. And these are the connections. So you can see right now we have this connector for Excel exciting, which I'm authorizing it for Twitter. So like that, you can authorize for your emails, you can authorize for your OneDrive, your Facebook, your Instagram, anything, whatever you have, you can automate those kind of stuff. So if you want to just keep an authorization for your connector, then you can just click on new over here and you can just select that connector and you can authorize it from here as well. So coming back again to my flows, now this time you will see that uh, all your flows, whatever we are going to create will be seen in this list. So you can even turn it off from here. You can just simply click on turn off. And in fact, even you can delete and in case of more details, then you are entering into that same stage. So clicking it over here takes you back to that screen and uh, and we have seen that when it was being created and you have an option for edit as well. So this amazing technology allows us to connect and interact between our applications. And this is a way where we can work smart, not hard, and we can let the important tasks to be done by us. We, so we can stay more focused on the business area and the rest repetitive tasks can be handled by the system. So, we are going to see some amazing uh, flows in the coming videos. So stay connected, my friends. And that's all for today. And over to you, my friends, Enzo. Wow, that was amazing stuff. And what we saw right now is just the tip of the iceberg. We can do amazing stuff with Power Automate. In fact, we are going to show you some amazing things in the next video. So stay connected and do let me know in the comment section what you'd like to see. What are your challenges with the automation? And in fact, you can even feel free to use our website's forums and you can drop your questions against Excel, Power Automate and we are there to help you out. See you soon. Bye.